It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. And we are looking at Cyclops. Now, Cyclops is just about fully penciled here. Pretty much completed. Uh, and I actually did a quick time-lapse video that I posted to uh, TikTok and Instagram uh, where you could see Cyclops uh, mostly coming together. I didn't, it's a 30-second video, really quick. Um, and even though it's time lapse, I didn't get to do all of him in that in that shot. So, but you'll see most of them come together. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give Cyclops his inks. We're going to ink Cyclops. So, let's zoom in. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get my my French curve. This this tool. Let me pull out a little bit so we can see it. This tool is called a French curve, and what it is, is it's basically a straight edge, a curved straight edge. So if you need to make fairly straight curved lines, like I'm looking at Cyclops' visor here, and I want to use, I want to use my straight edge pretty much like I would a ruler to get that straight but slight curve to the top of the visor. Now I want to go in here where the opening is for his eye, his eyes, he has two, even though his name's Cyclops. I want to roll that. I want to do the underside. I'm leaving a little break in there because I may want to do something with kind of a little special effect with color later. Now I'm doing this by choice. Um, I could freehand this if I wanted to because the the visor, the visor does have a bit of an organic shape, which means that it's it's got curves to it. Um, but it's still a mechanical apparatus, so I want that to be nice and straight. I don't want it to look uh, too soft, even though I am freehanding some of these lower curves. By the way, this is also my preferred model of Cyclops' visor. Um, he's had a couple of visors, a few visors now over the years. And my preferred visor choice is kind of a more streamlined version of the one Dave Cockrum gave him in Giant Sized X-Men number one. Prior to that, Cyclops' visor was just a very, it, pretty much it looked like a hair barrette over his eyes. It was just a straight, narrow thing. Um, Dave Cockrum seemed to expand it to make it more of a, of a formidable, larger device. Uh, he, to me, he may have overflared the curves a bit, but it was the 70s and that was Cockrum's style. Um, so I, I like that to, uh, toned down a little bit, which is what I've done here. Um, for my money, my favorite Cyclops artist was the great Paul Smith, who had a run in the X-Men, I want to say, from about 160 through 175. Um, and I'm, I'm coming up with that on memory. So, you know, if, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. I'm using a, a pit pen. This is um, a Faber-Castell Extra Small XS pit pen. And I'm using that for the fine details of his face. Going in there, doing the lip. And I'm doing all this now um, just so that it's in place for when I go in and do the larger areas of black where... Um, where I could really go in with my brush pen and uh, just slop the black around. But right now I'm doing all this fine detailed stuff. Now, I'm, I, I'm doing Cyclops here pretty much for fun. Um, if anybody followed me on, on Instagram or any of my social media, or, or you've been to my website, FernandoRuizEverybody.com, you know that last year or so, I was doing 
a legionnaire of the day where every day I would do a different member of the legion of superheroes. And um, I've been thinking like what other teams I could do that with. And uh, it really seems like uh, the X-Men are a natural, even though my my fondness for the X-Men is a very is a very tight window. Um, for me, there's there's a definite point where I walked away from the X-Men just because uh, I stopped enjoying the book. So now I'm using my brush pen where I could I could allow my line to go from very thin to thicker. And you want that to be as straight as possible. And it's okay if you're, you know, if you line isn't a hundred percent perfect, you could always go back in with the brush with the uh, pit pen and kind of tailor the line a little bit, maybe make it a little thicker. Um, maybe if the if the joining of the two lines isn't totally smooth, you could also go in and do that. Now. Um, Cyclops here has the benefit of having a uh, largely black costume. So um, so if, if there's any real, real horrid mistakes, you really have a, you, you have some room to, uh, to kind of clean that up. So I'm going to go in and what I want to do, I don't want I don't want to fill in his cowl, his headpiece here solidly black. I pretty much want to follow the shape that I worked out in the pencils. And what I've done is I'm doing a little bit of feathering. So I'm just kind of grazing the paper with the very tip of my brush pen. Grazing it, grazing it very lightly, just kind of skimming the paper with it, getting closer, denser, where the black gets the thickest. Over here, we could just go in and go solid. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna do a little special effect in the coloring. I'm gonna leave that open there, that little glare open. Hopefully the special effect will work. <coughs> Excuse me, if not, I'll just fill that back in. But I'm gonna fill in this whole shape. So this gives me a, a nice solid dark to his headpiece, um, but not so solid that it doesn't kind of fuzz out on the edges, which uh, I'm gonna want. And I may even go in, do a little bit of cross hatching again, graze, 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 graze. And then I could go in. Now, towards the outer parts of Cyclops's body here, for example, I'm gonna go down, do the trapezius muscle here. I'm going to go and slide down. I want to keep that fairly thin. Get thicker down on the curve. And then when I go in and do this, this interior spotting of blacks, okay. Now I can fill that in. And again, I'm just grazing the paper again. I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want him to just look like a, a Dalmatian. So I'm going to go in and do what I did before, just kind of graze, 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 and bring it closer together. I'm doing this here to kind of define, to, sh to shade in that deltoid muscle, the muscle of the, um, of the shoulder. Now Cyclops, poor Cyclops, really gets the short end of the stick. Um, a lot of people, I'm, I'm always defending Cyclops. A lot of people really say, oh, he's, he's so lame. He's such a lame character. To me, he's my favorite of all the X-Men. And I have a, uh, I also put uh, Cyclops, uh, Iceman very close up there too. If anybody, people who know me, they know of my love for Iceman. And, and I'll be doing, uh, believe me, if we're doing the X-Men of the day, we're gonna be doing Iceman very, very soon. Um, but Iceman is, is up there too. Now, the reason I like Cyclops is um, Cyclops to me epitomizes what the X-Men are about. He has, he was born with 
an effective power that is also a, a, a bit of a curse to him. He can't control it. It's, it's effective. It's destructive. It's, I mean, it, it's, it's, he can do a lot with it. But at the same time, there's, there's a great personal cost to that power. And that's really what, what the X-Men should be about. These are people who didn't ask for their powers. They were born with it. And they use their powers to, to make the world a better place. And not just for, for mutants, but also for humans too. They're ultimately, they're good guys. And, and Cyclops really, really epitomizes that. Um, unfortunately, and this is where, where all the hate comes, Cyclops, really like most of the X-Men, Cyclops has about 30 years of bad management. He's got about 30 years of horrible uh, stories where he's handled like a jerk. And that's where the, uh, you know, the, the Cyclops is a jerk uh, comes from. Um, but really, you go to the early, early X-Men stories before, before Wolverine and, and characters, you know, more colorful characters like that showed up. And Cyclops is really the cool one of the team. I know when I was a kid reading the X-Men, pretty much post Claremont and Byrne, um, I like Cyclops from the get-go, um, but I was always frustrated that it just seemed like Chris Claremont was hell-bent on getting him out of the book. He was always writing Cyclops off into the sunset. This is also... This is also my preferred look for Cyclops. And here, too, uh, a lot of younger fans will look at this costume and say, oh, it's so boring. You know, this, it, it, yeah, it's not a, a fancy costume with a lot of uh, uh, lightning bolts all over it and, and stars and, and whatever else. But um, it suits Cyclops. It suits the character. He is not a flashy character. I never, I mean, I guess in a, in a pinch, just because he's had so many horrible looks and horrible designs, I mean, I guess I would accept that Jim Lee, the famous Jim Lee look from the 90s. Although to me, it, it just looks so 90s. Um, it just looks like such a dated thing. And um, I never cared for the, the straps and, and uh, uh, all, the, all the doodads and knickknacks. I'm a big fan of very simple, straightforward, streamlined designs. I, I don't like gratuitous bits of armor and, and lines and seams and all that. And certainly the, the pouch and, and padding that was popular in the 90s. Um, I, never got, I never got that. So now we're in the, in the easier parts of Cyclops' outfit where it's largely just black here. So I'm just really filling in large areas of black. And um, sometimes I could go back in if I want that black to get a little closer. But what I want is a nice gradation. I don't just want a, a big area of black. I want the black to kind of feather out. You know, maybe here, sure, I could put a sharp edge to it. But let's say... Let's say around here, where we're around here, the in the ab section, I can whip here. I want it to feather. I want it to feather. So I'm I'm gonna whip the pen, the brush pen, whip it, whip it, whip it. And when I say I'm whipping it, I'm I'm just grazing it, I'm just grazing. It. I'm going over it so that that it's gradating nice and smoothly. It's not just a hard line. But there is a, a transition there from heavy dark to the lighter areas, which will, I'm going to go in with a nice dark blue. Uh, to when I, when I add the colors to Cyclops' outfit. How am I doing on time? Well, we're almost, we're almost wrapping up here. So what I may do is... Uh, 
finish up Cyclops here with a time lapse video. And that way uh, you could see it happen uh, without me putting you through every last stroke. Um, about to get to the belt down here. And in the belt, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my my ellipse or my uh, French curve again to get that more or less kind of straight because I don't want to. I'm not sure if I want to freehand that. Um, so I may want to le let some of these black areas, which are pretty heavy with uh, ink right now, I may want to let some of those black areas kind of uh, dry before I lay my French curve down on it because I don't want the French curve to pick up my ink, my wet ink, and uh, drag it, smudge it. Now the glove, Cyclops' glove is yellow. And so I really want to give that a very thin line. And I may go in with my, um, my uh, pit pens to do the fingers, since the fingers are kind of this uh, tiny involved thing. So I want to keep that kind of small. I want to keep those lines kind of fine. So I don't want to get too heavy with that. So, uh, and th there will be most likely a video where I do add colors to Cyclops. I think people might enjoy that. And I could continue my, my reminisces, my defense of Cyclops. And uh, certainly I hope if anybody, you know, has a different opinion on Cyclops, you're certainly welcome to uh, say so in the comments below. Uh, or any questions, any, any other thoughts, you know, feel free to post those. And uh, most likely I'll, I'll respond to you one way or the other. Um... Also in the uh, in the description below, you'll find links to all my social media. So please feel free to uh, look me up. I'm on Instagram, uh, Facebook, of course. Uh, I'm on, I'm on uh, TikTok and uh, and uh, what's the other one? Twi Twitter, but Twitter sucks and TikTok isn't that much better. So I don't know how much I'm going to be contributing to those. Um, but please follow me on any of those. And uh, hopefully, if you enjoyed this video, as always, please. And here I am freehanding the belt. I can't resist sometimes. But it's working out. It's not, it's, not getting, it's not getting too crooked, so I'm okay. Notice, too, as I move down to the longer lines, this, this gets a little easier now because it's really just dragging the my pen it's my brush pen it's really just dragging it to make these heavy these longer lines down here in the legs and go in and just drag that all in one stroke and then i could go back in and fill in the uh the black on his legs so maybe what we'll do is leave that for the time lapse so after I say goodbye, don't go away. Hang in there. There may be a little bit more to this one. Okay? So that's it. Thanks. I hope you enjoy this. Once again, if you did, please click like. Please uh, share. Please subscribe. Hit the bell. And keep drawing. And come back, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Thanks a lot.